Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a pretty exciting coin restoration. We're gonna be hopping in and trying to clean up this ancient Roman coin, which was issued under Emperor Probus. Not only was he a pretty great emperor, but he issued some awesome coinage. And today we're gonna to get to clean up one of the actual pieces of state-issued propaganda that spread across his empire. Let's get into it. So before we start, let's take a little bit closer of a look at this coin and kind of see what we're working with. What we have here is an Antoninianus. It's a bit of a mouthful, but this coin was a very, very common coin that was circulated in the late Roman Empire. And it was kind of a replacement for the previous standardized silver coin, the silver denarius. Now you may be asking yourself, well, this doesn't really look like a silver coin. And that's because it's actually a silvered coin. Now, this is actually a bronze coin. It was struck in bronze and then had silvering applied to the surface to give it the appearance of a large silver coin when really it was just a tiny bit of silver over a bronze flan. On the obverse, where we can actually see the head of the emperor, you know, there's already been some scraped away. And you can actually see that there is silvering left on the surface of this coin. You can see the green contrasting with little patches of silver. It is part of the patina of the coin. And the tricky part about cleaning this coin for me is going to be gently removing that dirt without taking off the silvering that lies on top of the bronze patina. You can see a design here, and I think what this is is some sort of horse chariot, maybe a quadriga. This is a pretty common motif for Probus coins. I'm going to start this cleaning by adding some water to the surface of the coin to dampen the dirt and sediments that are on top of the patina. Hopefully this will give the dirt a little bit more of a clumpy, uh, malleable quality that actually makes it much easier for me to scrape it away. You'll see that the tool I'm using is actually made of wood, and it isn't a toothpick, it's actually a thorn. So I'm going to be transitioning between the thorn and then a harder metal scraping tool. It's actually a dulled needle tip point, and this is gonna actually help me get the rest of the dirt off. So I'm just slowly, slowly starting to scrape away this damp dirt, and I'm putting very, very little pressure down on the actual surface of the coin. I'm mostly putting pressure side to side to kind of push the dirt away. As I scrape away the dirt, you can actually start seeing that silver surface. Um, you know, obviously a lot of it has corroded away and the, the thin layer of silver has has vanished over the years that this has sat in the dirt. But in many areas, you can still see the glint of silver.
going to do a final details pass on both the obverse and the reverse and then finally after hours of work the cleaning part of this process is complete the next step is to rinse the coin of any loose sediment then i dry it under a hot lamp to eliminate any of the moisture and at that point it's ready to get a preservative wax coating i'm going to take this outside just because i don't want to breathe the fumes too much in my apartment we're going to be using Renaissance wax and applying several layers of this to the surface of the coin. This is a microcrystalline wax that, once polished out, will actually protect the coin from environmental damage, as well as give it kind of a polished, shiny look, which is perfect for an archival display. You can see how the surface of this coin is really shining. We're seeing a lot of the silver coming through. I mean, look at that. Like, I had no idea there was that much silver on here. Both sides of the legend are basically complete, and even though the details are kind of muted, I find that this coin still kind of captures the full essence of its design. So what is the design? And what coin is this? We can actually find out a lot about it. And the first place I start is wildwinds.com. Now this is a great resource for trying to track down ancient Roman coins. 
imperial coinage by ruler. And I know this is Probus, so we'll go down and we will find Probus. Let's see, where is he? Here we go. All right, so we have a couple identifying features of this coin. First of all, we have a dual quadriga. That's gonna really cut down most of these specimens because a lot of these designs don't have that design. One other important distinguishing feature here is that he is faced left. This is uh, more uncommon for any late Roman coin. Just, you know, at first glance, those two things will really, really help us. Oh, here's a quadriga, but there's only one quadriga. This is it. We found it. This is basically an exact match, probably from a different die, but it's the same issue with the same mint mark. So what we're looking at is an Antoninianus of Probus, minted in the Sisychus mint anywhere from AD 276 to 282. The obverse shows a radiate bust of the emperor facing left. He's wearing an imperial mantle and holding an eagle-tipped scepter. On the reverse, we see Sol holding a whip while standing in the middle of a quadriga, and the inscription reads, Soli Invicto. The condition of this coin leaves a lot to be desired, but I do believe that now you can really read all of the details, and literally the coin can shine. So this coin will go into a display and hopefully be able to be cherished for many, many years. I hope you guys enjoyed this cleaning video. I have a couple others coming up soon. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Leave your comments down below. I'll try to get to your questions as soon as I can. And of course, consider subscribing. It really helps the channel and make sure that these videos don't get lost in the algorithm. Anyway, thanks so much. Until next time.